Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Photo P. Photo P is a photo editing tool that works in the browser. Those of you familiar with Photoshop will see lots of functionality that you'd expect. In essence, it gives you the ability to edit Photoshop files within the browser. So you have all of the tools that you'd expect to see from the Move tool, the Select tool, the Lasso tool, the Magic Wand, the Crop, the Pipette, the Clone Stamp, the Gradient tool, the smudge and burn tools, the text tools. As you can see, you've got a choice of things. You can create a new project, so just a, a fresh new image. You can open from the computer. You can connect with Google Drive. You can open up their demo file, and it will support these formats. So what we're gonna do is gonna go file and open. And I'm gonna choose one of my PSD files. I'll open that up. And what's great is sometimes you'll maybe only have access to a Chromebook, something that won't run proprietary software. So it's great that you can log on and access the functionality of Photoshop just within the browser. So it's managed to open up my Photoshop file. You can see if we start to turn off the various elements will we'll hide away. And you can see I, what I've done to achieve the runaway tractor. Adding the additional smoke to give the illusion of it moving. So yeah, it's really easy to use. I can add text. I can double click on the T to select the text, increase the size of the font. I can apply apply that, use the move tool. To move the text down. And then again, I can double click on the text tool. I can change the color of it should I choose. We're looking at the filter functions, we've got the blur, noise, pixelate, render, sharp, and stylize. So the most typical ones that you'd expect to find. From the palettes function, we've got the history palette, the layers palette, the info, properties, brushes, characters, and paragraph. So perfect for formatting text and dealing with any type of composite image you may be looking to create. Select tools and then the layers tools and the ability to, to, to use masks and rasterize content as well and also group and arrange layers. And then with the image we can adjust brightness, contrast, levels, curves, exposures, vibrancies, hue, saturation. So it has all of the features you'd expect and then when you finish you can save it as a PSD as well. So I could save that as a PSD file. So they have a very quick look at photop.com, a great way of editing your Photoshop files from devices such as Chromebooks. Or if you're on a on a, a strange machine, maybe where you haven't got access to Photoshop installed, you can just log on to photop.com, open and edit your file, and then save it when you're finished. So if you found that useful, if you like the video, please remember to share it and subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.